Welcome to NXT episode 32, or 33, excuse me, 33, episode 33 here at Full Sail University, and up next is the first of the many tag team matches that we're going to have to determine who's going to be the number one contender for the, for the tag team championships. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first the team of Simon Gotch and Aiden English, the Vaughn Villains. And introducing their opponents, the team of Preston Plord and Ty Naughton, the New Englanders. That's right, you heard it right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a tag team championship tournament. The tag team championship tournament. This will this tournament will determine the number one contenders for the NXT tag team championships. As you see up next, there's gonna be four straight matches. First is the Vaude Villains versus Tyron Ott and Preston Plore, the New Englanders, which is happening right now. Up next will be the Legion of Darkness, Seth Cole and Brandon Phillips, they will, they will take on the Ascension. So as you see, I'm probably going to be eating at the same time as recording this because I'm in a, a little bit of a hurry because I'm trying to get this all recorded before I have to go to work later. Um, so, pardon me eating. Good move here. A little bit of teamwork taking a t team action right now. Alright. Um, as you see, Preston Plore taking it to Simon Gotch. Now remember, the Vault Villains had a little bit of a falling out a couple weeks ago. We'll see if they're back on the same page in this match. Simon Gosh is a tough fellow. He, he, even though he lost, he still survived a long time on his own against the team of... I forgot, well, against his opponents. Now Simon Gotch beginning to turn the tables around. Oh, what a move by Preston. Now Preston's going to come in over here and probably tag in Ty. Oh, maybe not. Ty was giving Preston a little bit of a pep talk there. Go behind by Preston and a punch to the back. Belly and belly suplex. And an elbow drop. Tag made. Now Ty Naughton comes into the play. Mm. 
for not going for a pit already. Check out that too. Good teamwork shared by the New Englanders. Uh, Preston takes up care of Simon Gott, or is Aiden English? Oh, Simon Gott takes care of Ty Naughton. English breaks up the submission. Tag's made. Finally, first tag for the Vault Villains. Look at this move. Good move there. Okay. So now that I think I've pretty much polished off my breakfast. Uh. Banging action. Good job. Take there by Ty Naughton to aid in English. This is to this match is to advance to the semi to this uh to the semifinals. Um. Uh, yeah. This this is to advance to the semifinals. Of this tournament, who will it be? Going for a pinfall, but a rope break. On a good reversal there by Aiden English. Aiden. Oh, what a good new move there by Aiden. Go for the pinfall already. One, two, kick out at two by Ty Naughton. Already the New Englanders were almost eliminated. But Ty Naughton reverses. Ty Naughton's calling for something here. Oh, what a strong freaking clothesline punch to the face that was. Is that all Ty's gonna do? Is he just gonna stand there? And a code breaker! And, a, and the code breaker almost had it, but Simon Gotch breaks it up. But his match is already getting long, and it's the first match. Aiden English. Sets him up. Aiden English sets him up trio of wolf style. And he's gonna jack and waste going for the pin. Referee gonna count one, two, kick out at two by Ty Naughton. Ty Naughton coming to tag in Preston Plord. He tags in Preston Plord. Simon got already. And look at Preston! He's gonna go for the pin. Is that gonna be it? Referee, one, two, three. It's over. So the New Englanders advance in the tournament. Here are your winners, the New Englanders. And the New Englanders are the first to transfer into the semifinal round. Up next, we got a good another we got another tag team match in this in the tag team match tournament. So what's gonna happen next when the Ascension take on Seth Cole and Brandon Phillips? Welcome back to NXT, and up next is the Ascension versus the Legion of Darkness, known by Seth Cole and Brandon Phillips. 
who is going to be the next team to advance. The winner of this team will face the New Englanders in the semifinals next week. Thirty-one, not thirty-two. No, this is episode thirty-two, not thirty-three. God, okay. Anyways, bell sounded. We're underway here in this match, this tag team championship tournament match. Seth Cole immediately out of gate on the Ascension. The Ascension have never been the same since losing the NXT tag team championships to the NWO many months ago. Seth Cole has, has Victor in the in the on the on the middle ropes, and a look at the knee drop to the chest of Connor, and another knee drop to the head of Connor. This time, Brandon Phillips over there loving it, egging on his teammate. Seth Cole and Irish whip him into his teammate, and here we go. We're going to see some team some team action here. A drop to hold by Seth, and an elbow drop by Brandon. Brandon is now the legal person. O'Connor begins to get the upper hand. He's going to come. He's going to tag in Victor. Victor now. And oh, what a slam by Victor. It's just like we, st we said before in the opening. The winner of this match will go on to face the New Englanders next week in the semifinal match. Again, Brandon actually already beginning to fight back. He's going to run. He's going to tag in Seth Cole after a good combination of punches. Seth with a good kick. But now here comes Victor fighting back. Seth Cole reverses. Seth Cole's a little bit on the short side when it comes to wrestling, but that doesn't stop him. And then a look at the angle slam. A good angle slam move. That's going to... And Brandon Phillips is going to go ahead and go tack down him. He's going to go for the pin. Two. Kick out at two by Victor. And Connor tried to break it up still. On a good clothesline there by Victor. I thought for sure that was it. Look at Victor just stomping away at Seth Cole. Chops, punches. Seth Cole reverses. Gives him the monkey flip. And Seth is going to hard Irish whip Victor outside of the ring. Now here comes Seth outside. you got to watch out for Connor. Connor's coming over there. Oh, and Connor's gonna break it up. Connor's gonna Irish hard Irish whip Seth back into the ring. Now look at Victor just on the outside there. Seth Cole looks like he's gonna go try to. He was gonna go look, looking to pick a fight with Victor. Thought better of it. Seth Cole hard Irish whips him out of the ring again. Seth Cole comes out of the ring. Victor already there, but here comes Brandon Phillips. But Brandon backs away, back into his corner as he gets back tossed back into the ring. Now they're all back into the ring now. What's Victor doing? He's going to Irish whip. Are they run into each other? They're going to each make a tag, except for Seth Cole, whose teammate is not there. Victor already gets a good... Good there, man. Look at this. Oh, Victor punches Brandon Phillips off. It's that cause a distraction. 
Seth Cole is getting the upper hand on Victor right now. Look at the Hurricane Rana from the top rope. Going for the pinfall. One, two. Oh, kick out at two by Victor. Almost thought that Seth Cole had it. Look at Seth. Angle. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the angle slam again. He's going for something else, looks like. Oh, what a. That's like a reverse attitude adjustment there. That's an interesting move by Seth Cole. Going for the pin. Two. And I think even though even though Brandon hit Victor, I think it still caused the breakup of the pin right there. Who's going to be the next two superstars? Or the next team superstars to advance? Going for the pin again. Referee down position. Two, leaving enough time for Victor to make the save. Seth Cole beating the crap out of Connor right now. Going to Irish whip him into the corner. And a tag is made. Brandon's not a legal man. But they're going to do this again. Drop toe hold into an elbow drop. Car going for the pinfall is Brandon. One, two, and victory. No, he didn't make the save. He didn't make it. I thought he did. But the Legion of Darkness wins. Wow, that was incredible. Here are your winners. The Legion of Darkness. The Legion of Darkness get the win. They're celebrating. They get to move on to the next round. We'll be right back after these commercial breaks with some more tag team action. Welcome back to NXT. It's the next match in the tag team tournament. It is Dylan Pote and Shane Sides versus the Lucha Dragons, Kalisto and Sin Cara. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first the team of Dylan Pote and Shane Sides. Okay, the Lucha Dragons already. We got three masked wrestlers in the ring right now. Shane Sides already going for a pin on Kalisto, but Kalisto kicks out immediately. Sorry for the squeakiness of my chair. Kalisto tags in Sin Cara. And Sin Cara with a good cross, with the help of Kalisto, gets a good crossbody jump. This is the start of a whole new bracket for uh, for this for this uh, for this tournament. We're gonna have to see who will win and advance to the semifinals. Poti and Dylan Poti has not yet been in this match, but it looks like he might get the opportunity as he Irish whips him into the corner. Yep. And tag is made. Shane sides and Poti. Shane's gonna launch Poti into sh into Sin Cara. Car Del Poti is doing something, but he's gonna kind of. He's not even looking at. He's not even looking at Sin Cara right now. Now he does. He's just sitting there. He's running the ropes and oh, what a diving move on Shane sides. Out of nowhere, they're fighting on the outside of the ring right now. Fighting on the outside of the ring. 
Referee up to a two count. Sid Carter going to tag in Kalista. No, Kalista is not actually at his corner. He was at the, like, the middle of the the middle of the ring. Poteet reverses Sin Cara and gives him a leg drag. These guys are quick, but will they be quick enough to take on to take on Rick Norman and Nick Bolaro for the tag team championships? You never know. This is four. This will be four straight matches of tag team action before we get into singles competition. This is the third match. Kalisto already overpowering, already overpowering Poti going for the pinfall. One kick out at one by Dylan Poti. Oh, Poti just swats Kalisto away with that move. Sorry for the quietness. Referee out of five count. Kalisto gets back into the ring. Now it's Shane Sides and Sin Cara again. And Sin Cara, or Shane Sides going to tag in. Dylan Poti has her going into the match. And oh, what a double move there. That was good. Poti now going to go after Kalisto. He's going to he's gonna suplex Kalisto into the ring. Now he's got to focus on Shane Sides. He's going to go outside the ring. He's jumping. Kalisto moves out of the way. Poti is in trouble. Kalisto, or Sin Cara, come on. He's going to go for the pinfall. He's coming. One. Two and Poti kicks out at two. This is definitely gonna be an interesting match. Trying to hurry. These guys want to hurry up and get the, hurry up in advance. Kalisto was coming, but Poti got put on Poti. Poti says, excuse me. Kalisto reverses. This has got to be something here. Oh look at Sin Cara. Sin Cara gonna take advantage of Poti. Poti reverses. He's gonna jump off and oh what a clothesline. Close that from the top rope, going for the pinfall, ref not in position, one, two, three, it's over, Poteet and Shane Sides advance. Here are your winners, Shane Sides and Dylan Poteet. These guys just pick up the victory and advance themselves to the next round of the Tag Team Tournament. What's going to happen next here on Episode 31 of NXT? Or excuse me, 32, goddammit. What's going to happen? I don't know. We'll be right back after these commercial breaks. Welcome back to NXT. Up next is the final tag team match in the tournament. The final first round tag team matches in the tournament. It's going to be Enzo Amore and Big Cass versus the NWO. <coughs> so we're going to see how this is going to play out. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first the team of Enzo Amore and Big Cass. Rolling in bed, riding around at the beat of July. They go, go, go. Tim Fiegel and Dylan Young. 
the NWO music is particularly copyrighted for some reason, so I have to be really careful on how long I use that song in the intro. That's why I always tend to prefer them to do last. So the match is underway here at NXT. This is the final round of the of the first round. This is the final match of the first round of this tag team tournament. So far, the tag teams that have advanced are Ty Naughton and Preston Plourd, Seth Cole, Brandon Phillips, and Dylan Pote and Shane Sides. Those teams are the ones that have that have advanced so far. The winner of this match will go on to face Dylan Young or uh, Dylan Pote and Shane Sides. I'm looking at the brackets right now. <laughs> Dylan Young, the NWO are, are hot to trot right now because they were just re two weeks ago they lost the tag team championships and never got their rematch. Here they go. Enzo tags in Colin Cassidy. Enzo Moray and Colin Cassidy have never really had an opportunity at the titles. This could be their chance if they can advance in the tournament. But you have to watch out for Tesora out on the ringside over there. Look, there he is. He's waiting in the mix. Waiting to get into the mix. You know he's going to try to distract the referee at some point whenever if these teams are losing that badly. Dylan Young now with a good chop block on on Enzo Amore. Now Enzo actually reverses and a bulldog to Dylan Young. Now Enzo gonna tag. Oh, I thought he was gonna tag and call. Nope. Yep. Maybe. Yep. There he goes. Tog, ta togs. Tags in Colin Cassidy and he tags in Tim Fiegel. <clears throat> now Colin Cassidy is seven feet tall. And he's gonna go with an uppercut by Tim Fiegel. Oh, and a good STO takedown by Colin Cassidy. Big Cass, as they call him, because he's seven feet tall, and you can't teach that. Good belly to belly suplex there by Tim Fiegel. <laughs> Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy have a saying. They said, We are the one thing, we are the one thing that, or we are not the one thing that our opponents. R and that is S A W F T soft. And that's exactly how they do it. As look at these good moves by Colin Cassidy here. And Tim Fiegel looking to try to get the upper hand still. <coughs> Tags in his teammate Dylan Young. The NWO have been quite a team. They are very good when it comes to teamwork. The NWO is. So it's going to be very interesting to see who can win this match. We also forgot. We also forgot too. So at least I did. That uh, tonight is uh, tonight we tonight we named the fourth and final participant in the Fatal Four Way match for the NXT Championship at the upcoming uh, paper, uh, the upcoming event NXT Game Over. Colin Cassidy re reverses Dylan Young. He just tosses him over his head, and now he's going to tag in Enzo Amore. And that was a good kick and a drop kick. Oh, and a good flying forearm there by Enzo Amore. Oh, what a good move there. Colin Cassidy. Kick out at one by Dylan Young. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, what a good slam. Oh, the referee is taken down. And I'll do the other reverses. He reverses. He got Enzo. Enzo into the pedigree. The pedigree. Go for the pin. One, two, three. No, kick out at two. Enzo, I don't know how he did that. He, but he, he, he kicked out at two. Oh, look at this. He's coming back. Dylan Young. And a spine buster. Tim Figo knocks down Colin Cassidy again. Go one for the pinfall referee. One, two. No, kick out at two by, by, Colin, by Enzo Amore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Enzo. <laughs> Dylan Young's got him. He's got him. Pedigree. Pedigree. Go for the pinfall. One, two, and Colin Cassidy breaks up the, the count. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Tesora hey, still hanging out on the ringside, cheering on his, his teammates. Oh, look at Enzo. He's punched him. Oh, what a good combination of punches. Now look, he's going for the pin, but Tesora's going to distract the referee. Tesora distracts the referee. Hey, look at Enzo. He's going for those punches again. Tim Fiegel reverses Big Cash in there. Referee is distracted. He's going to try. He's going to pin him. What will Tesora do? Go for the pinfall. One... Two and Tim Figo breaks it up. Now look at Enzo. Oh, and a good toss. Now Enzo egging the crowd on. He looks like he was waiting for something here. Look at it. Look at him. He's gonna go for the ball and elbow drop. Ball and elbow drop. Tesora still out at ringside. Gonna go for the pinfall. One, two, and breaks it up. And this team is strong. This is a good match. This is these two teams want to be in contention. Go for another pinfall. One, two, and Tim Tim breaks it up. Tim saving his partner once again. What a close line there by Enzo going for another pinfall. One, two, and another breakup by Tim Fiegel. Overall small package. One, two, three. He got it in time. Dylan Young wins it for the NWO. Welcome back to NXT. After last week's gruesome false count anywhere match, Charlotte wants a rematch with Luna tonight. It's a regular single match, but what's going to happen as Luna takes on Charlotte in the NXT arena in a regular match? Charlotte, North Carolina. 
and the match gets underway. We all know Charlotte is the number one contender for the women's championship, but she has still got to prove it against a woman who is uh, who is neither pinned or submitted in NXT. Charlotte starting off good after last after last week's beating that she took on the at the hands of Luna. Oh, and a good takedown by Luna. Luna starting out. Luna didn't start out strong, but she's trying to come back here. You know, everyone knows how, how strong Luna is compared to the rest of these divas. She has never been pinned or submitted in a in a ring here in NXT. She has lost one match, and that was in a triple threat match where she was neither pinned or submitted. In a way, she is still undefeated, but she does have that loss on her record. Luna fighting back now. Hard shots to the back of Charlotte. Charlotte cannot let Luna take advantage of her like this. This is why she loses matches. Now look at Char Charlotte. Look at Luna. Went for a moonsault, but missed. And it didn't even seem to phase her all that much. Oh, wow, what a beatdown right there. Oh, and Charlotte kicks her in the face. And look at Charlotte the Luthez Press punching Luna in the face. You don't want to make Luna mad. Oh, what a back body drop. Choking her. She's choking her. Charlotte has to get mean and nasty if she wants to have even a shot at beating Luna. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, what a reversal. Luna goes for the pin. Two. And Charlotte reverses. One. Two and Luna reverses. This is gonna be a roll of reversals here. But it's gonna keep reversing each other. Yep. And Charlotte kicks out. Kick to the gut. Now a belly to belly suplex. Luna is really strong. Now Luna goes to the top rope and an elbow drop, but she missed. Charlotte moves out of the way in time. Now Luna with a with a punch to the gut, go from behind. Now Luna with a back body drop, planting Charlotte on her neck. Oh Luna now, Luna! Oh, what the good power bomb! I forgot with a take a double arm power bomb or something like that. I think go for the pin on Charlotte. One, two, three. It's over. Luna picks up the victory. Charlotte is obviously mad that she lost two weeks in a row to Luna. Well, ladies and gentlemen, up next, we determine who is going to be the fourth participant in the Fatal 4-Way match for the NXT Championship. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back after these commercials. Welcome back to NXT. Up next, it's the triple threat match to determine who's going to be the fourth participant in the Fatal 4-Way. The following contest is a triple threat match. Introducing first, from New York, Seth
Damn, Poti, I gotta find. Well, I don't. I gotta find a new theme song for you that's already on my Xbox, cause that's kind of copyrighted. I, I hate to skip your entrance so quickly. And the triple threat match is underway. A little bit of a seizure moment there. Glitch. This is this is Dylan Poti's second match of the evening. Will he be 100% from his match earlier today? or earlier tonight for the tag team title contest. This could put Poti in contention for two championships in one night. Out of the three championships, there's a possibility that Poti could hold two of them. But you also cannot count out Seth Cole and Hideo Itami. Seth Cole kind of just watching as his, as his buddy Dylan Poti tries to work on Hideo Itami. Why is he not moving? Oh, okay. That's why he's not moving. I see Hideo gonna throw his long iron quick iron strip and now look at Seth Cole. Seth's gonna throw him into him. And oh what a move there by by Seth Cole. I guess, unfortunately, I have to play as Seth Cole now because I have to play as Seth Cole now because for some reason it, it made me uh, it made me Seth Cole and I don't know why. And look at Poti! Oh, with an inverted atomic drop and another one. These two both have finishers. Oh, but Dylan Poti reverses Seth Cole. Wow, Hideo just ruins uh, just ruins the just ruins the signature. Oh, look at Hideo Tommy going for submission move. Seth Cole going for a submission or going for a comeback. He's got it. Seth Cole, look at what Seth's doing. Seth's got poked up. Oh, what a move by po by Seth Cole. He's gonna move Hideo Itami out of the way. He's gonna try to pin. He's pinning Poti. One, two, three. Oh no, Poti kicks out of two. I gotta remember. There are no countouts and there are no disqualifications. Seth Cole picks up a chair, comes back into the ring, and hits. Go for the pit on Poteet again. One, two, Poti kicks out of two. Oh, Poti grabs the chair, puts the chair away. Monkey flip by Seth Cole. What's Hideo Tommy doing? Hideo's got him moved. Knee drop there by Seth Cole. Oh, Poti reverses. And then an angle slam by Seth Cole. And now look at Hideo. Hideo moved over. Hideo hit Seth Cole. Is he going to pin Poti? Is he going to pin Poti? Oh, he's calling for something. He's calling for something. Oh, crap. Oh, no. He's got Seth Cole. Is Seth going to tap? Is Seth going to tap? Seth, Seth Cole taps. He taps. Hideo Tommy wins. Hideo Tommy wins. Damn. Hideo Tommy picks up the victory. Here is your winner, Hideo Tommy. Hideo Tommy picks up the victory. He is now the final competitor in the Fatal Four Way. We'll be right back after these commercial breaks.
NXT up next, Michael Norman versus Sami Zayn in an Extreme Rules match. Getting ready for this match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall is an extreme rules match. Introducing first, he is the current and XT champion. And the match immediately gets underway. Michael Norman already beating up Sami Zayn. Already fighting outside the ring in this match. They've already gone outside. Sami Zayn already trying to get the upper hand. Sami going for weapons. He's gonna pull out a table. Michael Norman easily goes to the other side of the ring as he sees what Sami Zayn is bringing out. Michael, oh, and Michael Norman is gonna bring out a ladder. He brings out the ladder, but he's inside the ring and Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn trying to pick, trying to uh. Sami Zayn have the lad, they have a ladder. They have a ladder and a table outside there. That ladder looks flat as hell. And Sami Zayn, oh, with a kick to the face. We have just heard that next week on NXT, next week on NXT, we are going to see each of the Fatal 4-Way participants in a singles match. So we're going to see... Sami Zayn in a, in, a, in a singles match. We're going to see Michael Norman in a singles match. Hideo Itami in a singles match. And Sting in a, in a singles match. But neither of these guys will know who their opponent is until the match begins. We will know, but they will not. Now Sami Zayn already tossed and Michael back into the ring. Sami Zayn, he's trying, he's gonna go under, he's gonna go look for a weapon again. He's gonna try to pull out the sledgehammer. Michael Norman breaks it up. Now Michael Norman throws Sami Zayn back into the ring. Michael Norman running to the side of the ring. He gets back inside. He's gonna run and a German suplex to Sami Zayn. Oh, Sami Zayn is not happy. And he's he's coming back on Michael. He look at him. He's coming. Oh, what a backbreaker by Sami Zayn. And he hits him with the. Oh crap! What the hell was that move called? I don't remember. He's going for the pin on Michael. One kick out of one. Michael Norman up and a headbutt to the back of Sami Zayn by Michael Norman. Now Norman, what's he doing? Norman outside of the ring. 
He's coming over, casually walking over towards our announce table. No, never mind that he's coming. He's trying to come back inside the ring. Norman running inside the ring. Sami Zayn coming up here. Zayn inside. Oh, what a reversal by Sami Zayn. Throw some Michael into the into the ring corner. Michael Norman reverses. And a good kick. Now Norman outside the ring coming towards the announce table over here. He's going to pick apart the NXT announce table. Sami Zayn outside the ring. He's going to put Sami Zayn on the table. He's climbing up. Michael Norman, good time! He know He hit Sami Zayn! What a move by Michael Norman! The long arm shoulder crap. Something like that. Sami Zayn up, Michael Norman back outside the ring. This isn't Falls Count anywhere, this is an Extreme Rules match. Another kick to the head by Sami Zayn to Michael Norman. They're both inside the ring. Now they come back outside the ring. Sammy throws Michael Norman back into the ring. Kick to the head. Now they can both get back inside the ring. Sammy Zane has Michael Norman in the corner. He turns him around. He kicks him in the back. Now Sammy Zane's going to thrust Michael Norman's shoulder first into the ring post. Uh oh, what's he gonna do here? Sami Zayn going to Oh, what a kick to the face! That was not the Haluva kick, but that was sure as hell one hell of a freaking kick to the face. Regardless, Michael Norman reverses Sami Zayn. Now Sami Zayn reverses Michael Norman. Now Michael Norman reverses Sami Zayn and a drop kick to the face. Oh, Michael Norman comes in and goes for the pin. One, two, kick out at two by Sami Zayn. Michael Norman comes out to the outside, picks up the table, throws the table inside the ring. Sami Zayn though is up already. He's gonna go for something. Oh, what a what a chop! Another chop. Oh, look at Sami Zayn. Look at that agility of Sami Zayn. Oh, Michael Norman got up. Sami Zayn missed. This is this is one hell of a match. Michael Norman trying to get his comeback going here. Good couple of drop kicks. And a swinging neck breaker. Is that enough to put Sammy away? One, two, three, it is! Michael Norman wins!